Hello again and welcome to this presentation where I'm going to show how you can get a fully automated test environment by adding five lines of code to your test benches. The starting point is the 11 test benches we have in the example project. And I'm going to add a few lines in my editor using templates, but you can just copy paste from an example on the website. First, adding the library and a context statement, which will include the VUnit functionality into my test bench. Then I go to the entity declaration and add the runner configuration generic. This is a string which contains commands from the Python run script to control my test bench. Uh, if we scroll through the code, we will see a number of declarations. We will see uh, the unit under test, which is instantiated here. Uh, there's a process for generating the clock. And then we have the main process for controlling the test bench. We will start that by calling the test runner setup call or the test runner setup procedure with the runner configuration from the generic. And this will initialize my test bench. Uh, then if we continue, we will see a bunch of single assignments, uh, search statements, and this is where the, the unit on test is actually verified. Everything ending with a report statement saying that the simulation has completed. It will not stop though, because we still have a clock process ticking and a VUnit test bench needs to be stopped. Uh, and we do that by calling the test runner cleanup call. If you already have a stop procedure or if you're calling a failing search statement to stop the simulation, you need to replace that line. So that's it. We're going to continue to uh, change the rest of the 10 test benches. And uh, that's about 30 seconds per test bench. And after we've done that, we can call our run script. Uh, since we change our test benches, it will start by recompiling them. Uh, then running the simulations, they will all pass because they get to the test run a cleanup procedure call without stopping on an assert. It took 3.8 seconds, not include the compilation. So if we rerun now without any recompile needed, it will still take about 3.8 seconds. We can also run these test benches in different threads using the minus P option. So minus P level means 11 threads. And now it just takes 0.9 seconds, about four times faster. And the reason is that I have a quad core computer. Uh, you can use a free commercial license or GHDL to get all the licenses you need to do this parallelization. So that's it for now. Uh, five lines to get a fully automated test environment with a 4x speed improvement.